Hi there, and welcome back to another PriceCP Roblox Studio tutorial. In our tutorial for today, we're going to learn about the chat service and chat function in Roblox. Here in my workspace, you can see I have a part. It's, it is the screen part right here. And now let's go to our service script service. We're going to add a script. In your script, just put in the following lines. What we're going to do, we're going to add a chat to that part. On the first line here, I'm declaring my chat service. On the second line, I'm declaring my part. We're going to wait for 8 seconds. To add a chat to that part, we're going to use the chat function of the chat service. So we're going to start with the chat service, colon, chat is the chat function. And our function is going to have three parameters. The first parameter is going to be a part or a character. In this case, we're going to have a part. Our second parameter is going to be the message that we want to send. Let's just say hello. And our third parameter is going to be the color of the chat message. I'm going to just say red. Let's now play and take a look. So there's the brick. Give it a few seconds. And we should see a message. And there it is, hello, and the color is red. The next thing we're gonna do, let's go to our plugins menu. And we're gonna build a rig. Let's uh, pick an R6 and we'll pick a woman rig. All right, so I'm gonna put the woman rig over here on this side. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna add a chat to the dummy. So if you expand the dummy, you can, you can see the dummy has a head here. And that's where we're going to put the chat in. So let's now go to the script, the same script. Instead of our part here, we're going to put the dummy's head in there. So it's going to be game workspace dummy dot dummy head dot head. All right, so our part here is going to be the dummy's head. And the, the rest just stay the same. I just want to show you one other thing here. Instead of putting in the color red, like if you don't know like which color to, to choose, you can use enum dot chat color dot and this would give you a list of all the possible colors you can choose from so you only have four different colors you got green red blue and white uh, let's choose blue this time let's take a look so again give it about a couple seconds and instead of the brick now the dummy is going to say hello and there it is, and the color is blue. Now I just want to point out one thing. If you try this and you don't see like a color, you don't see a red color or a blue color, that, that is because your chat service has bubble chat turned on. So in that case, if you don't see a color, you gotta go to your chat service, click on it, and go to your properties window. You gotta make sure bubble chat enable is unchecked. If it is checked, you're not gonna see a color. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a chat to a character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a touch event to this part right here. And when a character touches the part, uh, the character is going to chat, right? So um, we're going to go to the part. We're going to add a script. And in your script, just put in the following lines. On the first line here, we're declaring the chat service. And here we have the touch event. So part B here is the part of the character that is touching this brick. And here we're using the chat function. So we're passing in part B dot parent. Part B dot parent is the character that, that is touching this part, right? This brick. And here's the message. And for the caller, you can also use um, a number. So you, you can use, remember there are four different callers. So you can use any number between one and four, and each number is gonna associate with a, uh, a color. All right, let's play and take a look. Let's wait for the dummy to say something first, to say hello, that is. All right, th there it goes, so the dummy said hello, and now I'm gonna go and touch this brick here. As soon as I touch the brick, I'm gonna say something. I'm gonna say I got it and you can see I said it so many times 
because we did not use a debounce variable to debounce. So that's why the, the brick is recording multiple touches when I touch the brick, and that's why there are so many different messages. But this is kind of cool. It's, it's almost like I'm screaming out, I got it, I got it, I got it. All right, everyone, that's how you use the chat function of the chat service in Roblox. See you in the next tutorial. Take care.